Pakaya welcomes the two teams onto the stadium and they'll get a wonderful ovation as they come on. And Steve Walsh is the referee, Dave Pearson and Carlo Damasco, the assistants, and Morgan Tara for France gets this game underway and it's taken in by Ma'afu for Tonga. A lot at stake in this game for both teams really as Morath makes the kick straight down the middle and uh, France uh, through their fullback Maxime Meda who played on the wing against the All Blacks puts it high and what's been lost forward by Tonga so here's an early opportunity for the French Servat who is back and the referee playing an advantage here as it's dragged out by Yashvili and uh, France are going to try and give it a little bit of air early on as Dusa Twa takes it in. Now Yashvili works it across to Tara. The kick through made by Meta, but offside against the Tongans right in centre field. And uh, this may well be a gift penalty early on. And down the middle it goes. So Yashvili Puts France on the board very early in the piece. Moore, well and truly contained. Well, they've certainly got a lot of the ball, but they haven't gone very far with it. 17 phases, though. As Latoui takes it into the setup. They're just probing away here, hoping something might happen. Now Moore. And it's a penalty. Well, maybe that was what they were waiting on. And uh, Steve Walsh, the referee, has caught the French offside. Now here's Tana Uya trying to stay away from the touchline. Cleverly done as they kept it on the in the field of play. And the battle scars there already. Oh. But it's going to be a shot at goal. Kurt Morath, who scored 31 points at this Rugby World Cup, has an opportunity. And yeah, that's a beauty. Well, I would have to say he's one of the most consistent kickers in this competition. Yashvili works it back to the far side. And straight through the gap. Here's a chance. Lakafia, six or seven metres away. Yashvili fighting his way is Mermos. Again, Pape as Yashvili again for Para. Looking to have the line on. Flying at him was her here. Couldn't make the tackle, and uh, Tonga, well, they were playing advantage. They came out of the line too quickly, and Steve Walsh will give the penalty pretty much out in front. So this is a gift to get France back in front. Dimitri Yashvili sneaks it in, kicks his second penalty goal, and France now leads 6-3. to three. And off goes Ma, good pace. Just couldn't link up. 15 out from the 22. Marker hands it up to Latui. And they fight their way down towards the 22 metre line. As Ma'afu delivers the pass. A Frenchman is down. Here's the kick across oh. field. Oh, it's a pretty good one. Has the bounce. The bounce is good. And the try is scored by Hufanga. What an outstanding try. Absolutely outstanding. Beautifully placed. Oh, the sixpence. And finished. Set up a little bit. But the strength, certainly inside the touchline. So, Morath from the touchline, looking to bring it in. What a kick! Well, they are delighted. Moen gets it wide again. Good charge by Ma'afu. Midway to the goal line. And a playing advantage. Offside. France under immense pressure here and not responding terribly well. Landed a sideline conversion earlier on to Kurt Morath. And he has nailed it. 
Another penalty goal. 13 points to six, Tommy Lee. And uh, this has been turned over as Lakafia gets it away. And oh, a thumping tackle by Hufanga. And it was a beauty. Now the referee's not happy. What's that about? Well, he lifted him off the ground, yep. but really it was an outstanding tackle. Copybook, I thought. But it was a good tackle. The only thing that went wrong was he lifted him. Okay, after and consultation the with both my assistants, the guys lifted him up and then he's driven him to the ground, okay? In the tackle. Yeah. I know you were going Can't forward. It's a yellow card. There again for Yashvili. Tremendous defence here by 14 man Tonga. 15 phases. Now they go wide and knocked on. That's the opportunity gone. The referee will play an advantage, but there is none. And that is half time. And Tonga survive with the 14 men for the last couple of minutes. And they lead here at half time by 13 to 6. Well, it's been a battle. And blood has been spilt both ways. But Tonga have really taken it to France. They hold an edge. The final match in this pool, Canada against the All Blacks tomorrow. As Steve Walsh signals time on and Kurt Marath gets the second half underway. And France have made a mess of it already. And it's been grabbed by Tuna Huya and Tonga in great position early on as the charge is made by Latui. Well, France made some shocking errors in the first half and they haven't done very well early in the second either as Tonga take the direct route up the centre. Now, moving it on. Here's a good charging run by Piotau, Siali Piotau, as they stay with Tuna Uya, the loose head prop. They're only six or seven metres away here. And a charge by a new man on the park for Tonga in... Uh, That's Alika. Oh, Alika. Right, yep. Alani Olika, OK. And penalty. So it's not getting any better for France. Off now to Meda, running strongly from the back. He really has played well. Here's a chance for the French. A real opportunity. Para slipped the pass, and the ball's been knocked down. Or has it been knocked on? And, in fact, it's a penalty further back. So here's Yashvili, his most difficult kick tonight so far. And it is a good kick indeed. A third penalty goal for Yashvili. 13 points to nine, 10 minutes gone. Well, Tonga gone for a short line out here, which means they've got a number of big units in midfield if they win it successfully. And they do go for 2-0. Now for Marath. And Tonga right in centre field as Moa delivers the pass. Oh, that's close. Well, I suppose consistency has to rain here and if so there'll be a Frenchman going to the bin. He's gone up but the horizontal yellow card. Well that's the trouble. He started something and he's got to follow through with it. And these sorts of things definitely affect the game. And Tonga deserve for him to have it because they've played all the rugby in the second half. He's got it. Well, I think that young lady on the sideline knew the sort of situation we were in. Now snapped up by uh, Piu Tao, offside against the French, so they're in further trouble as Tonga hammer away here, only 10 metres away. There is a player down, but they'll carry on. Aaron Adorke gets it in the road, but now it goes to uh, Lokatui. Now, drop kick from Marath. Off the posts, still there, and it's fallen for Yash, really, but it's offside. Offside, right in front of the goalposts. And boy, are we hitting for an upset here. Well, they're taking the three here, three points, so you have to assume that as Marath kicks them to a 19-9 lead. 
Right, yes, really, they are going to clear it away. See if they can produce a try out of this. Mermos, and maybe they have. I'll tell you what, that's Crossing what the... the far corner, Von Sinclair. You sure? He's going to ward. No, he's going to have a look. They had to back themselves, and that's quite clearly a try. Yep, absolutely. Try. So the try has been awarded to Von Sinclair. The conversion, which won't mean very much at all. France will get a bonus point out of this game, and the conversion is wide. But we have seen one of the great upsets in Rugby World Cup history. Tonga has beaten France.